Hello, good morning. This is Osamu Wakabayashi from Zen Ideas. Today I'm going to talk about how you can build resources space. So let's begin. So lots of my clients in the nonprofit industry, so they have resources page. Now the resources page is it's a repository for information. So they put a lot of information so that they can share those information to their client or uh, in the community base. Now the purpose of having the resources page, it's called the library, is so that the users so users can access those information easily and quickly. And the second purpose is the staff, the admin, so they can maintain or update easily and quickly. So those two purposes, right? And I'll show you uh, just an example. So this is uh, my client resources page. So this is a before uh, we update it. So let me show you. So this is uh, my client had uh, the resources page and then it's kind of quick and dirty job that uh, I can see. Uh, it's really easy to create. It's just, just a link and a title and then there are just external links or PDF. I click for example that jump to this is a PDF here. And the problem is that uh, just title and link. So the user doesn't really know you know what they are so they need to know that the little introduction at least a little blurbs of what the resource is about and then good thing about this is so they have a categories here but as you can see once again so you have to scroll down and especially for the mobile too it's not really accessible so we need to fix this so this is an example of uh, Amazon so as you can see there's a little blurb here you know two or three paragraphs and then people read that and the then then people take another action in this case uh i will likely uh click this look inside and then next step is uh you make a decision whether we buy a book or not so the resource page and any web design i'm talking about uh, uh accessing information you know people think the same way people behave the same way so here is a new design uh, resource page for this particular client. Now, because of this COVID-19, uh, they have to put a bunch of resources in relate, you know, relation to uh, uh, the current situation. So we're gonna be explaining about what this resource page is about. And on top of that, so we put COVID-19 resources. And the second is for this organization um, the supporting mental health and well-being during the COVID-19 is, is very important so that the second section we put well-being during COVID-19 section here and then this is a community building resources page uh, as you can see there are a lot of information but the way we changed this was the layout of course and as you can see you can see a blurb about it not just title and then people can read more. Another thing is uh, we put the category. So they already had a category in the previous page as well, but uh, we had more, you, you know, we create this, uh, the resource page to be more interactive. So for example, if you want to uh, look at the access to space, you just click <clears throat> um, the link here, the category links, and then it pops out like that the same thing if you were looking for transportation information you just click the one of those categories and then it generates so and the wordpress uh, can handle this easily so this wasn't really a big major surgery to create this it's really quick so let me show you how we did it so we use post and as you can see and we just ha added a bunch of categories so that uh, the, the staff can easily manage and also the information is pretty much accessible to anybody. So let's look at one of those posts. So you're going to just add a title here and the little blurbs uh, doesn't have to be a lot because they want to just uh, link to their external uh, website to get more information in their case. And here's the categories. 
so they picked the transportation this is related to transportation category and if you want to add a picture and you can also uh, set the future images too so in this case there's no photos but if you can so and they hit just update right and if you go down this community building source and if you click the transportation so that also in transport uh, post is going to be here and if you click our uh, read more so you can get the information so that's the website so we used uh, Elementor to uh, create this page so let me let's look in, in uh, inside of this page with Elementor so actually so this is so easy to set this up so I'm gonna just uh, go down here how I did it here so I'm gonna just click that edit post so I use the one of the post element uh, comes with Elementor Pro and then uh, so you can change that uh, different skin too so I use a classic and then so you can set how many posts per page so I I think I set it as eight uh, maybe I can set it as nine here and then the column with three columns as you can see uh, layout so they got a little bit of different layout too so I can explain a little bit more later and then the presentation here and the queries so that's um, I want to quickly explain here so if the Elementor after you set the category so you can generate which category you want to display in this particular uh, post edit post I mean post widget and the here access space art children you can see right here in transportation and then uh, so that's the only categories that can display in this box okay and of course you can add other categories as well and another thing is um, you probably wonder how I can get this filter so that the category filter is right here there's a filterable tab and you can show filter if you turn it off it disappears and if you turn this on it appears and I found that this is pretty useful uh, for users to um, uh, having filter is so great to uh, uh, easy access to the information so there are different sorts of settings as well and just hit update and this is an option to you see the community oops so you see the community service here and access to space so those are the category batches and then um, you can just uh, disable and enable as well so for me I think it's it helps uh, for user to um, uh, access information so I just like to have that on now up here as you can see so mental health well-being during COVID-19 uh, you probably guessed uh, let's take a look at it so under query so I have only well-being during COVID-19 category so that's why it displays like that and then the skin I think the skin is the same um, the post per page are slightly different I made it uh, two columns instead of three columns so just a little different layout again so this is just a design issue now up here is COVID-19 resources and it's kind of same structure uh, the same classic scheme and then let's look at the general so post per page is seven uh, three columns now layout is slightly different I I, I changed this instead of just the regular uh, grid so that the people can just uh, move through so if you are looking at a uh, tablet you can use your, your finger to swipe uh, left and right and as you can see uh, query is uh, category filter is only COVID-19 um, you know nothing else right so Elementor so it's super easy to set this up and uh, I think um, if you want to have kind of quick job to make your, your information accessible so this is the way to do it so once again so this is the new resources page so as you can see this is uh, you can just move swipe through and they're all filtered and then this is the before 
old results page. Now the information what we have is the same, but uh, I think the way we change the layout, the design, so information is much more accessible uh, to users. So I hope this helps and uh, see you next time.